Yeah, so uh, I was approached with the opportunity to be uh, promoted to the offensive graduate assistant position. So, you know, I'm taking that and running with it, uh, trying to learn as much as I can, trying to be a sponge, you know, just provide for the guys and just be there for them. And then I'm just trying to learn right now, you know, transition from being a player to coach. What's it like to get in your coaching career? Yeah, you know, it's nice because I played here. You know, I care about this place, uh, love this place. And it's the same offensive scheme pretty much for the most part. So I played in this system. Uh, I played with these fundamentals, these techniques. So I know what it's like to play in the offense. So I feel like that's pretty valuable for me to be able to then portray it to players now. You know, are you well, coaching guys that are only like three years younger than you? I mean, is that, a, is that an interesting dynamic? How's that been for you so far? It is, yeah. You know, uh, especially me just playing with these guys last year. You know, uh, I just got to handle myself as a coach now. You know, I got to know that I'm not a player and uh, just got to handle myself as Coach King does. Has it always been your goal to coach or just kind of pop up? Or what, what's, what was your, your kind of goal and desire for coaching? It has been, yeah. You know, I mean, I've been around this game for a long time, played it for a long time. And, uh, you know, I don't know anything else. It's what I know. It's what I love. And, uh, you know, I just want to give back to the game what it's given to me. So that's really what it comes down to. Is there anything that maybe surprised you jumping from player to coach that you weren't expecting about, you know, their day to day now? Yeah, you know, I don't know if it was so much of a surprise because I knew it was coming, but just the time commitment and uh, how much preparation and time goes into it. Uh, it's a lot as a player, but it's even more as a coach. So, you know, it's really just taking that responsibility with it and uh, making sure that you can help get the guys ready. I know it's early, but what, is, what are your duties as offensive GAs at the role you doing? Yeah, you know, helping Coach Keen with anything he needs, whether that's on the field or in the office with preparation before practice, helping him do that, uh, tagging film, making cut-ups for offensive line meetings and uh, helping out individual in practice and getting the scout team ready, getting the looks right and stuff like that along those lines. Did you consider, you know, maybe going out for pro day, you know, put your name in the NFL draft? Yeah, you know, going into my last year, I considered it and it's something that I always wanted to do. It's something I always worked towards. Uh, but towards the end of the year, you know, my my body was catching up with me, you know, six years of college football was catching up with me. So. Uh, you know, it's time for me to be done, you know, and just step into this next phase of, of my career, of, of my career in football. It's been super exciting. We, we heard from Ben Dooley a couple mm -hmm. weeks ago that it's, it's been really competitive on the old line and uh, a good atmosphere for that. Is there anybody you've been seeing who's been standing out fighting for jobs? Yeah, you know, I mean, I think the whole group right now is just trying to compete and just trying to get better every single day and hone in on those fundamentals and techniques that we preach about. Um, specifically, guys, you know, I think Jason Steele's really stepping up. I think for a, a young guy coming in a semester early, he's doing a really nice job with uh, playing center, taking charge of the offensive line, you know, just leading those guys out there and getting everybody on the same page. Is he kind of the, the center one as we sit right now on spring, if there was a depth chart, Steele's the starting center? Uh, questions as far as that, you know, I, I don't want to uh, say, you know, so if you have a question like that, I would direct it towards Coach Keen or somebody like that, you know. What did you think last year about Cage Casey? Cage Casey, yeah, you know, it's another young guy, has a whole lot of potential. Uh, came in, played some ball for us, which was awesome to see, you know, uh, helped him grow up a little bit, but he still maintained that redshirt year, which is awesome. So it was a really good thing for him just to get in, get the reps, see what it's like to play in a live game. Uh, so that way in the upcoming years, it's an easier transition for him. You've him played since him and JJ Tala, too. I mean, just like, it's pretty rare for the, along the old line, right, to, to get in there and get, you know, Start or get significant snaps in the game. JJ. Oh, oh, no, it was, the, it was the old lineman that started in the New Mexico game. Roger Carey. Oh, sorry. Carrier. Yeah, yeah, Roger. Yeah. 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 Uh, but just for, it's pretty rare for, for old line young, young guys as true freshmen to get in there and play a lot like they did. What, what is that? Uh, what did you see from that? What does that say for their future? Yeah, you know, I think it's awesome. I think it was a really good experience for him to get in there as true freshman year and start a game. You know, S similar deal to Cage. You know, it was awesome for him just to get in there and. Uh, <laughs> And uh, get used to the live game speed, see, seeing how much different it is from practice to a game. Uh, you know, I think that it'll pay dividends for him in the long run, getting this action early on. You've played some center in your career. Mm -hmm. We keep hearing one of the biggest differences in this offense is how much is on the center pre-snap. Mm -hmm. How much responsibility that comes with that position? How much, how much weight do you feel on your shoulders when you're playing that position? Yeah, you know, it's a whole lot of responsibility. Uh, in the last couple of years, we relied on the quarterback to get us on the same page. And uh, with... Uh, that responsibility on the center now, you know, it just really puts um, more responsibility on the group as a whole. You know, it, they, uh, you find more pride in doing it just because you know that it is your responsibility. So, uh, you know, it's, it's more weight on your shoulders for sure, but I think we'll do great with it. Tim Keene said it was mind-blowing to think about a freshman coming in here starting as center. I mean, 
Think about back when you were 17, 18 years mm -hmm. old. Could you have handled that responsibility in that much? No, not at all. Yeah. You know, I, I came in early just like Jason did, and I was thrown right in the fire with the twos. And uh, I was doing a lot worse my true freshman year than Jason was. That's without a doubt, for sure. Don't feel bad. Tim said he got kicked out of practice his first springs. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't think I ever got kicked out of a practice, but I'm sure I got pretty close. Yeah. Good. Awesome. Awesome. Thanks, Paul. Yeah, luck, thank man. you. Thank going. you. I appreciate, appreciate it. it.